Cast Fitness. Um, Sunday afternoon, Easter Sunday, if you're just joining me. So this is going to be a nice um, orthopedic Pilates. So a bit slower, a bit more stretching. There'll be some alternatives for you um, if you require them. <coughs> Excuse me. So come to standing. So let's stand with our feet hip width apart. Nice and tall through the spine. Allow the shoulders to relax back and down. So soften through the knees and find a comfortable stance for you. Try to pull the tummy and pelvic floor in and up to a third. So that means you've got slight tension on the tummy through the pelvic floor and your back is becoming nice and stable. So just take some even breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. So in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, let's do a couple more. And start to release through the shoulders. So you could do both shoulders or you could do one shoulder and then the other. It's entirely up to you, but just release any tension through the shoulders. And the other way round. Hi, Pauline. Good. So release through the neck. Take the ear to the shoulder and up. Ear to the shoulder and up, chin to chest, gently looking up, back to centre, so look over the shoulder and back, over the shoulder and back, so just reach one arm out and then take it across the chest, reach it out, take it across the chest, so you don't have to reach all the way out, and remember, you can do these moves as many times as you like. Change to the other side. I'm probably going to do about four to six on each side just to show you the moves and what you can do. Good. One more. And relax. So relax the hands to your sides and just reach down towards the knee. Down towards the knee. So open out through the rib cage. Try to lift the ribs away from the hip. Lengthen through the side. Good. So relax there. And let's release through the hips. So just let your hips come round. So rotate through the hips. You can push the bottom out. You can make your knees bend. You can make big circles. You could do small circles. Let's go the other way round. So release any tension through the hips, through the lower back. Good. You can take the hips side to side. So you can release off through the pelvis and the hips however you want to, whatever feels good for you. So release and let's just walk through the feet. So just walk through the feet, come up onto the heels, sorry, up onto the toes, lifting the heels off the floor. And relax. So let's rotate through the spine. So you might find it hard to rotate. So you could keep the hands on the hips and you could just rotate here. You could take the hands one on top of the other and you could twist here. Or if you want to work a bit harder, you could bow and arrow your twist, pulling the elbow back. So remember, it's your own level. You're working to just ease through the spine, through the back. Good. And release. So let's look at releasing off through the feet. So let's circle the foot round to release through the ankle and the other way round. So if you need to hold onto a chair or a wall, that's absolutely fine. And let's go to the other side. So circle the ankle round. Good, and the other way. 
Nice. So let's start walking through the feet again. So just paddle through the feet. And if you can, let's start marching. So lifting the feet off the floor. Lifting the feet off the floor. So we're going to go one, two, three. We're going to tap the heel forwards. So one, two, three, tap the heel forwards. If you don't want to tap, you could just keep marching. But just tapping that heel forwards. If you want to make it a bit harder, lift the knee. So one, two, three, lift the knee. March, two, three, lift the knee or tap. Good. So we'll do one more to each side. And release. Good. So this time let's do some balancing. Again, if you need to hold on, you can. You can keep the foot on the floor so you can tap. Or you can lift the foot here. Stay nice and long through the back. Relax the shoulders. Good. And let's take it out to the side. So again, you can tap if you can't balance, or you can take it out. So we're just doing between six and eight to each side. You can do more as you go through this. Remember, it's your choice. So relax that foot down, walk through the feet. And again, other side. So either tapping or lifting. Good. Hi, Ange. I'm guessing it's Ange. <laughs> Good. So take it out and in. So just thinking about warming up through the whole body, from the toes all the way up to the head. Good. And relax down. So again, just walk through those feet. Really soft through the feet. And let's go to heel, toe, heel, toe. Good. So the other side, so heel, toe, heel, toe. Nice work. And relax. So let's start to work through the back and the chest. So we're going to give ourselves a nice big hug. And we're going to open out. So we all deserve a big hug, especially if you're in isolation all by yourself. I'm sending you a big hug all the way round. And open out through that chest. So all the way round. Open out through the chest. One more. All the way round. Open out through the chest. Nice. So just relax. So we're going to work through the spine. So if you've got bad backs, bad spines, you've got osteoporosis coming in the spine, any conditions um, preventing you from going all the way down, work at your own level. So a variation might be keeping your hands on your hips, tilting the chin, bringing yourself just down. You might want to take the hands to the knees and then bring yourself back up, hands to the hips, back up. So you're tilting coming down. You might just want to take the hands to the knees and then all the way back up. If you want to work harder, you're going to tilt that chin, pull the tummy in, bend through the knees. You could bring the hands all the way down to the floor and then you can roll all the way back up. If you want to, you could take the hands to the ceiling and then come all the way down. Roll. So work at your own level. Again, if you're feeling tight sometimes, you might just want to do that move. So you could do this, you know, in the mornings. Good. Come back up and relax. So just walk through the feet, release off through the shoulders, relax. Good work. So bring yourself down onto your mat. Now you might want to bring a cushion or a pillow with you. So we're going to try and do a child pose stretch. You're going to put your bottom back on your heels. Now, if you struggle to put your bottom back on your heels, get a cushion, a pillow or a block, place it on top of your heels and sit your bottom on top of the cushion. Okay, that will help you get back. Now, for child pose stretch, bring yourself forwards. If you can't bring yourself forwards, just sit with your bottom on your heels. So think about the back releasing, the shoulders releasing, and breathe. Good. 
So come up, come to your hands and your knees. Now again, if you struggle on your hands and your knees, I will show you cat stretch sitting as well. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. You could use a cushion or a pillow under a knee if you've got a bad knee. So tuck the chin, pour the tummy in round for the back. Open out for the shoulder blades. And then sink down into your cow stretch. So come all the way up, open out for the shoulders and all the way down. So keep going here. If you struggle, you could sit with the heel, bottom on the heels, you could open out, you could hug yourself in like we did standing, you could sit on a chair, you could sit on your bottom. So there's lots of variations that you can cat to cow stretch in if you struggle on your hands and your knees. Good, so release back off your um, hands and knees and let your Show, let your wrists release off. Good. So let's do a shoulder and a chest opener and stretcher. So again, if you struggle on hands and knees, I will show you this sitting. So take one arm, lift to the ceiling, and then take that arm through, take the shoulder to the floor to open out through the shoulder blade in the back. So lift, open out. So we're just gonna do six to each side here. But again, as I said, you can choose how many you do to each side. So if you're struggling on hands and knees, you could sit on a chair, you could sit on your bottom, you could sit back on your heels, you can open, you can take the arm across. You can open, you can take the arm across. So let's go to the other side. So hands and knees or sitting, open, Take the arm through, open, take the arm through, nice, open, so breathe, opening out through the chest, lengthening through the shoulder, one more, good work, so again just let yourself release off through the wrist. Relax through the neck if you need to. Good. So again, come back to your hands and your knees if you can. So we're just gonna lengthen through one leg. So I want you to keep your knees under your hips. You're gonna lengthen one leg and try and lift off the floor. Hi, Bertie Bear. And back down, oh good boy. So we're gonna alternate, lengthen, lift, back down. Watch your knees come back under your hips. Don't let them walk in together. Now I want you to imagine you've got a spirit level on your hips. So the hips are staying nice and level, they're not tilting. Or you've got a couple of lamps on the bottom that are shining straight back. <laughs> Good. If it's too much on hands and knees, you can do this on your tummies. Let's just do one more to each side. Good. And come back down. So let's work through the arms. So if you struggle to lift the arm, just tap the hand in front. Uh, otherwise, try to lift the hand towards the ear and back down. So we're working through the shoulder, we're lengthening through the back. You're looking down and slightly forwards to keep that neck and back nice and long. Lengthening. Lengthening. Is it all too much, Bertie? Lengthening, good. One more to each side. Nice work. Release. So just relax however you want to. Let the shoulders relax. Let the wrists relax. So remember, you can do as many of those as you want to. You don't have to do some of those moves. You can cut some of them out. Make it your own workout. Let's come down to our fronts. So coming down to our front. So lengthen your arms out in front of you. Bring your legs close together. Pull your tummy in. If you want to, if you've got bad necks, you could bring your cushion, you could have your cushion under your head. Remember your workout, think about your neck, think about your back. So let's just lift opposite arm and leg and lower. So opposite arm and leg 
and lower. Tilt the chin, look down and slightly forward. Good, keep that hip down, lengthen. If you don't wanna do opposite arm and leg, why not do leg and then arm? Leg and then arm, make it your own workout. One more to each side. Good. So let's relax through the top half. So bring the legs close together. Push your hips down into the mat, pull your tummy in and relax your head down onto your hands. So we're going to work through the bottom into your lower back. Now, if you've got bad backs, you're going to lift one leg and lower, lift the other leg and lower. So lift one leg and lower, keeping that hip in the mat, lift and lower. If you want to work a bit hard, you're going to lift both legs off the floor and lower. Remember, we're only doing about six to eight at a time while we strengthen through the back. Good, let's do one more. And relax down, so just give that lower back a rest. You can rock through the hips if you need to. One more on our fronts. So take your hands, palms down, elbows at right angles. Relax your forehead down to your cushion or the mat. Now, if you've got bad backs or you struggle to use your back, it's not very strong, keep your hands on the floor and just lift your head, neck, shoulders away from the mat as far as you can, keep looking down and come back down. So you're just lifting away from the mat and back down. If you want to work a bit harder, let those hands float away from the mat and down. So we're building some upper midsection back strength. Good. Again, you're only going to do about four to six of each move. Nice work. Come up into your cat stretch. Remember, if you don't want to be on hands and knees, go to sit in. Give yourself that hug. So just cat stretch. Release through the back. Open out through the shoulders. Nice. And let's relax back into that child pose stretch once more. So we're going to come down to our sides. So if you've got your pillow handy, get your pillow and lie with your ear down on your pillow. So lift the chin up away from your chest, bend your knees, keep your hips nice and square, the back nice and long. Hands can go wherever you feel most comfortable. So you could take the hand under the pillow, you could lie with them out, you could have them here one on the floor. We're gonna work through this hip. So your feet are together, your knees are together. Keep your hips facing forwards. Open out through the hips, squeeze into the bottom and then back down. So we're doing a bit of strength work for the bottom. Opening out through the hip, the tummy is in. So we're always doing core work and back strengthening work. Again, you can do as many as you want to with these and you'll find one side easier than the other. So maybe work on your weaker side. We'll do one more. And relax. Now take your arms out in front of you. So one arm on top of the other. Open out through that arm and take it back as far as you feel able to, to open out through the chest. And then come all the way back down. So open out through the chest and all the way back down. Good. So variations of this, so you might want to do six to eight here. Variations, you might want to circle. You might want to take the arm up over the ear, all the way back and round to the leg, all the way up, all the way out. Or you could go the other way round, down to the leg, all the way back, over the ear, down to the leg, all the way back, up and down. So you've got choices there. So you're working through the shoulder, you're working through the chest, you're working into the back.
Good, so bring yourselves up, sit in a mermaid pose if you can. So you've got your one foot in front of you, your other foot is back towards your bottom. If you struggle here, sit with the legs crossed, sit however you want to, and just take the arm side to side. So open out through the rib cage, lift that rib cage away from the hip, release off any tension from the hip. Nice work. So again, if you ever think you're a bit stiff, nice to get up in the mornings and just go side to side. Good, let's go to the other side. So take your pillow to the other side of your mat and come to lie in. So make sure that you are comfortable. Bend your knees, feet together. And let's open out through that knee, keeping the hip facing forward, squeeze into the bottom, open out for that hip and down. So open out and down. Open out and down, good. So let's just do two more here. So think about which is your um, tighter side, which is your better side. and relax. So take the arms out, one on top of the other, open out through the chest all the way back or as far as you can go and all the way down. So all the way open out and all the way down. Good. So remember your variations, you could circle that arm round to get a bit of rotation. You could go right so that it comes over the leg, back up over the ear. Do what feels good for you to release any tension through the shoulder and to help you open out through that chest and give you a bit of relief. Good, so again, come up into that mermaid stretch if you can. If you struggle in this position, just sit how you feel comfortable and let's stretch side to side. Nice. Good, nearly there. Give yourselves a little rest before we come down onto our backs. So we're gonna come onto our backs and again, if you want your cushion, if you've got bad necks, keep your cushion under your head if you want it um, or make sure you keep the head down when we do all our exercises. So come down onto your back. Think about your back as you come down. Again, if you've got bad backs or you struggle with your back being on the floor, you might find that you could put a little towel or something um, under the arch of your back and that might help you while you're led on your back. So I'm going to use the cushion to show you how to use the cushion and we're just going to lengthen from the top of the head down to the base of the spine. Our feet are hip width apart, our knees are facing the ceiling. Allow your shoulder blades to relax back and down so your shoulders are flat against the mat. And now again, think about drawing that tummy and pelvic floor in and up to a third and make your back flat on the mat. So if you're led on the mat and you've got a big arch coming under the back, you want to draw that tummy in and tilt the pelvis to soften to indent into the mat. So take some even breaths in through the nose out through the mouth. Good. So all I want you to try and do is lift one leg off the floor. So you've got your knee over your hip. So we've just done clams, knee folds on our side. We're going to try and do them on our front. So you're lifting one leg off the floor. I'll do this leg to show you. This knee stays still. Turn your knee out to the side. Keep this knee still and back up. So turn the knee out to the side and back up. So again, I'd say do about four to eight on each side. We'll do four to each side now. 
Good. So take that foot back down. Lift the other leg and let's go out and in. So again, think about where you've got any tightness, which side is tighter. And one more. Good. So relax that foot back down. Make sure that back is still flat, the tummy is still in. Now if you can lift both legs off the floor. If you struggle with both legs off the floor, it hurts the back. Keep one foot on the floor. You can do one leg then the other. So we're going to do toe taps. So take one foot down to the floor and back up. One foot down to the floor and back up. So you can tap to the bottom which means there shouldn't be any pressure on the back. You can lengthen the legs slightly more away from the bottom. We're keeping the heads down to keep the neck nice and relaxed, unless obviously you want to lift and you haven't got bad necks and you can lift that head off the floor. But because this is an orthopedic Pilates, we're trying to keep it, so we're keeping the neck nice and um, relaxed on the mat. Good, and relax, hug those knees in, have a little rest. And relax the feet back down to the mat. So, one leg stretch or we're going to do heel slides for our orthopedic. So, imagine a marble under your heel. Draw the tummy in, keep the back nice and long. Lengthen through the leg and back in. Lengthen through the leg and back in. So you're just concentrating on keeping that back flat, lengthening the leg and back in. Lengthening the leg. Draw that tummy in. So feel the tummy muscles working as you lengthen through that leg. And again you can do as many as you want but let's just say we're doing six to eight on each side at the moment. So one more to each side. Good. And relax. Hug those knees in again to release off through the back. And relax down. So we're going to do a hundred position, which is a basic start for exercises on our back with Pilates. So I'm going to give you variations. If your back hurts, keep your feet on the floor. Or you could lift one leg, or you could lift both legs. So I'm going to show you with both feet on the floor to start with. Lift, take your hands to your hips. Now head, neck and shoulders can stay down, or you can lift them off the floor. Beat your arms up and down from your shoulders. Draw your tummy in. So you could have one leg lifted, you could be here. And if you're here, you might say after a few taps, you're going to change legs and lift the other leg. Or you might have both legs up here. So it's your choice where you are. So 100 position, we are beating the arms up and down as fast as we can from the shoulders. You are inhaling for five taps and you're exhaling for five taps to get the blood flowing around the body. And to think about your position on the mat. So inhaling and exhaling for four. Good, three, two, and relax. Nice work. Go into a full body stretch, so lengthen through to the fingers and the toes. Bring the feet back. Let your hands relax to your sides. So we're going to do a pelvic tilt to release any tension through the pelvis or we can go into a shoulder bridge. So if you want to stay with pelvic tilt, just try to tilt the hips to lift the bottom off slightly off the floor. Let your bottom sink and then tilt the hips so the back arches. So tilt in to lift in the bottom and tilt to push the bottom into the floor. So you're getting mobilisation just through the pelvis, keeping it mobile. If you want to come to a shoulder bridge, lift the bottom, keep the knees facing the ceiling, come up to the shoulders, 
hips nice and level and then relax back down vertebrae by vertebrae into the mat so again this is a really nice release for each vertebrae through the back it's a mobility move so you can do this if you feel tight through the pelvis and do one more and release just hug the knees in you could let the knees and arms go side to side if you want to if that hurts you could just hug the knees in and roll round through the back Good. So bring yourself slowly up to sitting. So again, if you struggle to sit, you might want to sit on a chair or you could sit on your cushion, which will make you have a nice long back. So whenever you're sat in Pilates doing your moves, try not to sit so you're shrugged. Sit nice and tall through the spine. So we're just going to do a spine twist. So work at your own level. Think about how the back feels. Take one hand on top of the other and let your shoulders relax back and down. Imagine a pole going all the way down through the neck and the spine. Inhale, exhale, twist to one side. And then inhale, exhale back to centre. So inhale, exhale, lift and lengthen as you twist to the side. And back to centre. Good. So again, you can do maybe four to six. You can do more if you want to. Good. Let's just do one more to each side. Nice work. Good, so come back to centre. Now change that top hand and twist the other way first. So twist and back to centre. So twist and back to centre. Good, twist and back to centre. One more. Good, lengthen through that side, open out through the rib cage. And the other side, reach. And down. So take your legs out. Now, if you struggle to sit with your legs long, soften through your knees. Again, you could be on your block, you could be on your pillow. So let's try a spine stretch. So you want to keep the chest open, the shoulders down, lengthen through the back. Take the arms out and you're going to reach towards the toes and back. Now notice I'm not going down to my toes, my hands are staying shoulder height. So I'm lengthening through the hamstrings, through the bottom into my back, and I'm hinging forwards from the hips. Nice, let's do one more. So let's finish, if you can, reach down, touch the toes, soften through the knees if you need to, try to keep that chest open and back. Woohoo, nice work. Good, let's go into a full body stretch. So if you're on a block or a cushion, come off your cushion first. Full body stretch, all the way down. Lengthen. Mm, nice. And then release. Bring yourself all the way up. And if you can, slowly uncurling. Bring yourself up to standing. If you need a chair or something to come up, come up slowly. And then just walk through the feet. Relax through the shoulders. Release off through the neck. Shh. Uh, ear to the shoulder and up. Ear to the shoulder and up, chin to chest, gently looking up, back to centre, look over the shoulder, and back, over the shoulder, and back, give yourselves a nice inhale, exhale, bring the hands to the chest, 
And again, inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to the chest. Open out. Give yourselves one last big hug. Open out. And give yourselves the clap for joining me on Easter Sunday. Well done. You all worked extremely hard as usual. See you all later. Take care. Bye.